it's early morning. Mmm, <sighs> coffee is great in the morning. So I'm gonna try to wake up and I'm gonna jump into the car and go west from Stockholm to Jön shopping. There is a car show and I'm gonna check it out. But first I'm just gonna eat my sandwiches to see if I can get any energy. After you pass the entrance, you realize that this is not a car show, it is an art show. Yeah. Canvas is replaced by steel and carbon fiber, and the brushes to mechanical tools. I was trapped immediately at the motorcycle area, and then I couldn't let my eyes of Niklas bike. Hi! Hi! What's your name? My name is Niklas. Hi Niklas! Hey! Is this your beautiful motorcycle? Yeah, this is my beautiful uh, black beast <laughs> or something like that. I can agree. I, yeah. I just passed by here and I just needed to stop by <laughs> and take a closer look at this yeah, bike. Thank you. Congratulations thank you. on yeah. the work. Thank you. Thank you. Could you tell us a bit what, what, what you have done to it? Yeah, uh, this is a Harley Davidson Night Rock Special 2009. Uh, it's pretty much custom everywhere actually. Uh, some of the original parts is uh, the headlight cow here and uh, the cooling uh, covers. Uh, that's, mo that's most of uh, the original parts is there. Every everything else is custom made. So do you ride your bike? Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've ridden 4,000 Swedish miles. 4,000 yeah. Okay guys, that's what I'm talking about. You don't just build something for showcase, you need to drive your vehicles. Yeah, yeah I agree, yeah. I agree. So uh, uh, on this side here, I can yeah. see that you have some, some air pressure thing. Yeah, yeah. What's that? This is for, uh, I built in two compressors here, where I can uh, lower and, uh, how do you say? Higher, yeah. uh, raise, yeah. get more clearance. Yeah, get more clearance with air ride in both the, the rear end and the front. So I needed to know, uh, depending on uh, how I wanted to ride the bike, if I was on a highway or if I was on a bit of a curvy road. So I made this bracket, installed an uh, air pressure uh, gauge and uh, yeah, pretty much uh, can see with dual uh, needles here. Mm -hmm. Yes I do, uh, yeah. uh, one green and one uh, orange. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the green is for the front and the red is for the, the rear. I think this is great work. Uh, and speaking of the yeah. rear tire, yeah. uh, what size is it? This is actually 280 on the standard rim. Mm. So I've, I've really pushed the limits and some of, uh, some of the folks in the B-Rod community will say, oh, you can't ride with that. But again, look at my... Uh, okay guys, <laughs> this is the proof. This is 280 <laughs> on the standard yeah, rim yeah. on a V-Rod. Yeah, yeah. Get that, ladies and gentlemen. And I must say, this was also one reason why I stopped by. Okay. Because actually, I think that we have done, you know, the wide tire community yeah, yeah, yeah. fetishish <laughs> for too long. So I really like that this this beautiful bike is, a, yeah. you know, the 350, 450 no, rear no, no, tire. No, 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 no. So I, I really actually, love it. I actually think that the uh, the V rod lines and it, it, 300 is that's my maximum where I think the design is. That's that's awesome, but if you go bigger, no, not, not for me. I totally agree yeah. with you. I yeah. totally agree with yeah. you. And um, uh, have you done something to the engine? Yeah, I uh, have a stage two kit. Mm -hmm. uh, installed the cams myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took the engine out and uh, 
yeah, removed everything and uh, amazing. Worked, yeah, yeah, worked from there and put it in myself and uh, tuned it in myself and uh, yeah, did everything. Ah, impressive <laughs> again. Thank you. Again, Thank you. again, very impressive. Thank you. So now to the trickiest question yeah. of them all. Are okay. you ready? Yes. How many it, hours have you put into this oh, bike? Oh, that was it. Uh, oof, I oh. told you it wasn't about the most <laughs> tricky one, right? I don't know actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I bought the bike in 2012. Six years. I worked with. I don't know. I never thought of it. You never thought yeah, about I just, it. I just work on it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's and countless. I so agree. before you start your project with your motorbike. <laughs> Think about how much spare time you actually have, yeah, ladies yeah, yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. It has been a treat meeting you. Thank, you, thank you very same, much. The same. Thank you very much. Look at his bike. Nikla is a true artist and please pay attention to all details. MBN Racing draw a lot of attention to the green mini. The art form of building perfection could not be mistaken. Get this car behind me I think it is great I mean I just stopped here because I really loved it the work they have done on this work car is magnificent please introduce yourself what's yeah. your name I am uh, Henry and uh, I helped build the engine in this uh, mini it's uh, it is a, a, a 1275 cubic uh, engine for, uh, uh, original mini block but with a, a BMW uh, K1200 uh, top on it. So actually you have a, a combined core engine with a motorcycle engine, is that correct? That is correct. Oh! So, so how many revs do you do with this car now? Um, it goes around uh, 12,000. 12,000 revs? Yes. In a minute. And how, what's the weight of this car? The weight is uh, about 430 kilos with, with the driver in it. With the driver in there? Oh, driver. how many horsepower is that per kilo? That's about uh, one horsepower per two kilo. So. Ooh, so listen to this guy. You add one kilo and then you have a half of horsepower. I mean, this is performance at its top level. And I must say, the finish of the car is stunning. I just passed by and I needed to stop. Congratulations. And you Thank told me that it was a while ago since you did the paintwork on this yes. car. The paintwork is uh, about 12 years old now, so it, it's kept good. Uh, it's a it's a normal street car, so it, it doesn't race. It goes on the street uh, with uh, everybody else, so yeah. it, it's, it's it's pretty nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 198 horsepower and 250 newton minute on the wheels. I cannot stop myself thinking about the scary movie, storing myself, driving the astonishing green mini, approaching the corner, knowing that the wheelbase is 2.0038 meters. It was time for me to head home, and on the highway I met Eric from Porsche Center, and we stopped at the gas station for some awesome drone shots. Ooh, it is cold! I thought for a second there that spring will arrive to Sweden, but I just saw on the internet that uh, it might snow next week as well. Coming home from the road trip was great. I will not forget Niklas and his black V-Rod. Ooh, that was a great bike. Uh, and I sincerely hope to meet him once more. The art form that I actually experienced on the exhibition is something that came back to me when I start to think of, of, of everything I saw. Um, there are so many hours put down into the vehicles and uh, there are more artists than mechanics that I have met on the exhibition. And uh, don't worry about this beautiful uh, 718 Cayman that I have been driven today. In a couple of days I will upload a video where I threw my thoughts on this car as well. So um, if you are not subscribing, please do. I hope you liked the video and uh, see you later.